Disclaimer, please don't harass all of the people in this video, and this video will be just a full explanation and my opinion. To be honest, I really don't want to make this video, but I think it's just something that I can't ignore anymore, and I need to explain so many mistakes and misunderstanding in this controversy that I have noticed. People are just, damn. It all started with their people posting about this, asking for shares and 75 likes for her to be happy again. To be honest, my opinion about this is kinda bland and actually didn't expect Derpy would post something like this. But I kinda understand why would Derpy post something about this. Yes, I'm saying, she doesn't, she didn't pick her depression. But I think because of that emotion that she is having, it leads her to doing this kind of pose. Because let's talk about this for a second. She is experiencing a pressure of emotion inside of her right now, especially her mom not treating her right and her friends don't not caring about her. Like, what would that lead you if everyone around you don't care about you at all? You would have this kind of an idea of posting about this. You asking for someone's attention. For you to find if someone do care about you. And this is the thing about this, right? We didn't understand what therapy really wants in this pose for what we are seeing she's just being an attention seeker it's what people accuse her about but i think yes she is being an attention seeker but she did that because she let she let her emotions control her i didn't think i don't think that therapy is actually faking her depression I just think that she just don't know how to get rid of her depression. Actually, posting something like this is not gonna help you at all. That's what I think because, yeah. But what she is trying to do here is I think that's what she thought would help her. She thought by posting like this, she would feel like someone to care about her and like, damn and she would feel better that's what she believes it she believed that this post will help her but it didn't help her at all just make things worse and this is where everything started to escalate okay mangus posted derpy's post into his community posting and pointing out on derpy that she is asking for shares and likes for her to be happy again. I actually don't know where did the baking the depression came from, but I think people just kinda automatically think about that when they saw this post, but yeah. And Derpy asked Mungus to delete the post, but Mungus refuses and I think they had a little fight or something. And th at this point, Derpy is now angry at Mungus. And this is not good at all because letting your emotions control you it's gonna lead to even more tragedy and it's literally not working out for derpy right here and at this point derpy don't know how to control the situation anymore she, she don't know how what to do and until it would just lead to this situation just keep escalating and escalating and would be far more worse than this and this is some of the comments about Derpy, their opinions and everything. And some of the people are just keep giving their opinions and your guys are not helping at all, like seriously. And about Derpy faking her depression again. To be honest, when I first see this post, I just smell the sarcastic in this. Derpy is just being sarcastic and Mungus just take it as a another bait. Because at this point, Derpy is just letting her emotions control her. Like, she don't know how to 
cope with this problem anymore and just getting worse from this like seriously and this is where therapy just make the mistake that literally would make her as the bad person in this situation because this is not how you solve a problem this is just derpy don't know how to solve the problem anymore because of all of the opinions and pressure that people are giving to her and the opinions of other people it just keep escalating and escalating inside of you that leads her doing this like i'm serious right now emotion can make you do stupid decision i learned that from inside out seriously inside out taught me that emotion can make you do stupid decision if you let them control you so just keep that on mind derpy the last time you have another contribution or any people out there that has or a controversy please don't do this don't let your emotion control you at all it's not gonna help the problem it was just escalated and make things even more worse than this and i also don't get this choosing a side to side like seriously this is also not gonna help the situation like you guys are just finding someone to help you fix the situation but it's not it's it's not helping you guys but at this point, Mungus literally have the most co support from so many people because of how Derpy act in this situation that literally she just keep backstabbing herself and she just keep sabotaging or she just keep, you know, hurting her own because of her emotion. And, And this is just an example of Derpy backstabbing herself again because of this sentence that she made. And if we try to read the title, we can literally see that Derpy said that she's bad at English and bad at explaining, so it makes sense. And let me just explain this to you guys. This is not exposing. This is accusing, okay? Derpy, stop using the word exposing or expose. Like read this this guy over there literally exposed me for no reason you're just admitting that you did you did actually pick your depression but i think what derpy is trying to say here is that this guy over there literally exposing me for no reason or accusing me for no reason that's how you made you point the sentence this that's what derpy is trying to say here and because of her not not good at explaining and not good at English she just good go with this sentence and yeah just backstab herself again because she don't know how to explain this is uh. and about their conversation on JFL one's live stream like seriously why would you guys fight on someone's live stream that is just bullshit I actually tried to find what live did they fight on like when i check jfl1 J, oh, a jf1's channel it's, i can't find it i i literally searched it like where 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 part of the live they fight on it i spend hours on that it just waste my time so yeah but seriously though don't fight on someone's live stream someone is just trying to make a live stream trying to make it wholesome but you guys are just keep ruining it stop stop it okay stop ruining someone's live stream and that is just not how like what are you guys trying to do here like are you guys trying to include jf1 in this situation you guys are are you guys trying to make this situation even more worse than it even ah, god damn it like seriously and this guy like seriously what are you trying to do here? What is your point? You're just making the situation worse. Like, seriously, bro. Why? But yeah, I know Derpy made a mistake in this situation. But also Mungus, he made a mistake too. Both of them made a mistake that leads to this controversy skyrocketed and exploding into the worst thing ever.
And I'm just glad that this situation is finally calming down. It's like a volcano finally stopped erupting. And I just hope we don't see something talking about this controversy ever again. I hope this video will be the last. And I don't know what happened to Derpy's channel. See, she lost her community posting and I don't know. At least she didn't lose half of her subscriber though about this controversy. And yeah. And bro, seriously? Damn. And let me just explain you guys something. If you guys saw someone asking for likes or like, you know, asking for likes to be happy or something, just like that, we don't just re upload them, their community posts, and point out of them and start accusing them start judging them what we should do is that we should go to the comment section and told to them that this is not good this is not how you solve your problem it will not solve your problem at all and you should tell them that you should find someone that will help you in this problem even in the internet, if you can't find someone around you to help you with this kind of situation, find someone that you trust in the internet. Don't bend on the internet. It's kind of sketchy to bend in the internet also. Just find someone, DM someone that you think would help you. Friends on internet or even someone that you just trust that would understand you. To be honest, venting on the internet is not bad, but doing that kind of post, it's worse. So, I hope you guys learned something from this, and okay, bye.